All right, it's a very wet first Friday out here at the Minnesota State Fair. This is nothing like the heavy rain that's falling in parts of Washington County and a few thunderstorms down in southern Minnesota. But right now, John Lauritsen and I are having some sheep thrills right, out here it, at the fair. We absolutely are. No reason to be sheepish when it comes to the puns, right, right Chris? Right. Sheep are an important part of Minnesota farm life. So we caught up with a family who's been flocking to the State Fair for decades. You know you're in the sheep and poultry barn when you hear the sounds of sheep bleeding and clippers cutting. Some people raise cattle and then their kids raise cattle. We raise sheep and we're just brought up in it. In fact, Andrea Westra's family has been showing sheep at the state fair for nearly 60 years. They're kind of big pets once you get to know them, basically, you know? Getting them ready is half the battle. Andrea and her sister Anissa brush their sheep and then give them haircuts. This one is pretty vocal. She just misses her friends in the pen. Presentation is everything. They don't wash the animals because they want to keep the lanolin in the wool. But if you open it up, you can see how nice and clean that is inside. And she has really nice wool with all the little kinks in it. Makes really good for sweaters and socks. <laughs> As part of Spray Sheep Company, the sisters have been winning blue ribbons since they were in elementary school. But there is no shortage of competition. Still, it's more about camaraderie than competing. Family bonding time, it's kind of what our family does. Like, my sister lives in Woodbury, and she comes down, and we all kind of get together. and. Do a family event. I live here in Woodbury. I live in the city, so it's a retreat for me to go out to the farm and see all the beautiful sheep out grazing. They really are beautiful creatures. And this is fun because I actually grew up next to you guys, just a couple miles away. So it's fun to have you here. I've seen you here for years, and Paul, you've been coming here for I don't want to date you too much. What half a century? <laughs> Since about 61, I guess, something like in there. Uh, started out coming 4-H with uh, dairy, because that's what my family had. And uh, I started uh, raising sheep about when I was 10 years old, and I've had them ever since. There you go. Chris I, and I had a few puns out there for Yeah, me. I noticed with all this rainfall, uh, these sheep are highly absorbent. Are they, like, really this size? They're like those kids' toys now that they've soaked up all this water they grew? No. Okay, just check it. <laughs> Oh, look at that! That is amazing. It was always fun, too, taking the bus and seeing. You always knew where the spray farm was because of all the sheep. So it's fun to have them here right in front of us now. Well, thank done. you guys for coming out yeah, here with the rain and all. Yes. Fun.